The Nile is not just life for Egypt, but it's also the source of goodness. That's why most of the temples in Egypt are built on the riverside, because the desert represents evil. Now, this temple we're at, Komombo Temple, is a special one, because it's one of the rare temples that represent two gods, one on the right here and one on the left. On the left side, you will see a picture of a crocodile all over the temple from this side. But it's not just an ordinary crocodile, it's a god. Sobek, the god of the Nile, the god of the military, and the god of, naturally enough, crocodiles. He surfaced as a deity around 3,000 years ago and was celebrated as a protector with an insatiable libido. Some pharaohs even modeled themselves on him. Sobek had a wide following across Egypt. Thousands of crocodiles were taken from the Nile, worshipped as living incarnations, and then mummified. Muhammad Ibrahim from the Egyptian Ministry of Antiquities is an expert on Komombo. The ancient Egyptian people who were travelers, who were sailors, who stopped their ships close to the temple of Komombo here to go down or to go inside this temple to represent for this god offerings, yes, to approach to this god to keep their journey safe. As you go farther inside the temple, you reach the exclusive chambers. And now we're at the holiest of the holy chamber. And it's called this way because this is where the king, his allies, and the clerics and advisors used to stay here for worshipping. No citizen was allowed to go inside this chamber, only the king's advisors. And here is a rock where the statue of the god Sobek used to stand. And the king and his advisors would worship him every day. Sabek, like the other gods of the ancients, is no longer worshipped. The Nile in flood has actually destroyed much of this temple. But the legend of Sabek lives on, a testament of the strong ties between the river and the deepest held traditions and beliefs of its people.